This is the most incorrectly depicted dinosaur from Jurassic Park, the Dilophosaurus. It was actually much scarier and looked very different. Hi everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to tell you what it really looked like and also if it could spit venom. Dilophosaurus is one of the most memorable dinos of Jurassic Park. It is overshadowed only by the mighty T-Rex, but the only thing it has left from the real dinosaur is its name. In the movie, Dilophosaurus has a rising color and poisonous saliva. This was invented specifically so that the viewer did not confuse them with Velociraptors. They were also halved in size. All these features were taken from other animals. They got the ability to speed wet them from a cobra and the color from a cloaked lizard. They also used an animatronic model without any CGI for filming, which added realism to the dinosaur. We took some inspiration from its image in the movie when we created our animatronic model, but at the customer's request, our team can make the dinosaur based on the latest scientific research. A model like that can even be exhibited in a museum. Dilophosaurus Discovery in 1942, in northern Arizona, a team of paleontologists discovered three skeletons belonging to a previously unknown species of dinosaur. And this would not have been possible without Navajo Indian Jess Williams, who was the group's guide and pointing out the excavation site to the scientists. One skeleton reaching almost 6 meters in length was almost intact, but it was missing a skull. The other two skeletons were a mass of scattered fragments. Many of the bones had crumbled to dust over millions of years. Paleontologist Samuel Wells attempted to put the bones together in a single skeleton but made a big mistake. He thought the remains belonged to a Megalosaurus, and his mistake is understandable. The bones of Dilophosaurus and Megalosaurus are very similar, but the skull, which is their main difference, was missing. In 1950, another paleontologist tried again to reassemble the skeletons of Dilophosaurus. He reconstructed the missing parts of the skull by inserting casts from the skull of another carnivorous dinosaur. Yeah, back then scientists had no idea how he looked like. What did the real Dilophosaurus look like? The success of Jurassic Park has created a new wave of fascination with dinosaurs. Scientists not only conducted new excavations, but also began to use the latest advances in technology to reconstruct the appearance of extinct animals. And Dilophosaurus wasn't left untouched. It had no color, but its head was decorated with two thin crests. They did not help it neither to hunt nor defend themselves and served more for demonstrations, like the tail of a peacock. Dilophosaurus was a large dinosaur, especially for its time. Most dinosaurs of the period were the size of a turkey or an eagle. However, Dilophosaurus was taller than a human and was up to 7 meters long. We all know that dinosaurs and birds were close relatives. Like birds, Dilophosaurus had air sacs and hollow bones, and these bones gave extra strength while also lightening the skeleton. Scientists have calculated that with the skeleton, the weight of Dilophosaurus was no more than 400 kilograms, or or almost 900 pounds. The presence of air sacs indicates that Dilophosaurus had a high degree of metabolism, so it was a swift and agile hunter, not a slow lizard whose speed depends on the time of day. Our Dilophosaurus is also very agile and can become a decoration for any thematic exhibition. We paid a special attention to details and synchronization of movements. Though the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park is far from its prototype, the movie itself has inspired thousands of people to study paleontology. It has also inspired us to create animatronic models of dinosaurs and start telling you about them. Let us know in the comments which dinosaur you want to see next and see you soon!